y'all ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another exciting edition man doing the ad libs over here i'm your dj night of the (laughs) esg rocket show the esg and rocket show y'all we back at it as we always do every tuesday every tuesday man and i think since last episode was kind of controversial yeah, it was controversial. I, th- I think I think we had enough controversy <laughs> for to, to last two episodes. No, yeah, so, yeah, no. I still got some kind of controversy yeah, coming that's up true, later that's on, true. later on. Not too that's much, true. but I got a little controversy. Since you got some controversy coming today, I think that's gonna be that's gonna last enough for two guests. Two guests. You're so right, right guests, now it's just guests. me and the man ESG holding What's it down. What's up, baby? We here. Some figures. You got to give us a round of applause, man. Yes, sir. Figures our producer. Woo! You can't see him, you know what I'm saying? But he's under here somewhere. Okay, you know. <laughs> uh, what's up, my brother? I'm good, man. I'm good. How you feeling? It's- I'm feeling so good because I'm in a new studio. Yeah, in a new studio, it's man. Looking good I'm a now. new producer, man. Yep. You ain't got to try to push buttons and yep. do that. You know what I'm saying? You got a professional I, behind the board, Figgy. Yeah, my co-host the, on the Gems and Juice podcast, yeah, by the way. Man, congratulations on y'all about to hit 50. Yes, you sir. Know, I, I'm a baby. We about to hit t- <laughs> This is our 11. You know what yep. I'm saying? This season, though. Only this season. So... What it do, Ryan Rocket Man? Let's, of course, we might as well jump right into it. Let's, let's go, do sports it, man. man. Let, let's let's NFL. let's start off light. We got a before we get there. Before we get there, okay. let's kick off on a little bit of the NBA stuff because okay. that what that just started. All right. um, media day just passed. Yeah, yeah. We got yeah. to see some weird sights, like we saw Kawhi <laughs> Leonard in a uh, Toronto yeah, Raptors and, jersey. He's a fun guy. We saw uh, Tony Parker in a Charlotte Hornets jersey. I didn't even see that. You didn't did see I, that? No, that just don't sound right. It's depressing, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's as bad as you think it's, it looks. Wow, wow. I can't believe People that. don't know how to hang it up. At least you nobody knew to retire. Yeah, yeah. James but, Harden, we seen, I seen the minutes rockets. Yep. What, did, what did Harden say? He didn't really say nothing. He just said he seems hungry. I give him that much. Uh-huh. He said that um, he's tired of, uh, of people saying, you know, good season after they lose in the Western I Conference mean, Finals. Uh, like, they got big dreams. They trying to make the championship. They trying to win that, a championship. Baby. I feel and I, I was, to your credit, I'll give you a little bit of props here, man. Oh, Lord, I give you props. I'll give you a little bit of props. First time of everything. <laughs> Carmelo seemed dedicated. Uh-huh. He seemed like he's willing to buy into whatever they're going to ask him to do. That's real. That's now, real. This is before they played a single game. We need that. Who knows what's going to happen. But see, the power season is over. That's true. So there's no distractions. <laughs> Lala should be at home chilling <laughs> with, with, with the baby and with the little boy, and, and they should be here in Houston, you know, getting ready to put it down. Go visit the screw shop, Mellow. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Get your screw <laughs> get your screw tape. Go to gallery or wherever you're going to go. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, let's, let's get let's, – let's, See, I wore a rocket head today. I didn't even you know did. you were going to talk about anything. You, you know what I'm saying? Then you can't even find this one. Look how I got the pin on the back. <laughs> that would have been his man. Yeah, I seen, um, I seen the Lakers team team picture. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he looked tough. It looked yeah. like uh, looked tough. The, the old man in the 18 and up club. You no, know, man. LeBron don't look old. You know, he don't look old. You he look, look old compared to he, a 19 and 20 year old. But see, his hair has always looked old. Yeah, that's true. Even when he was, I think he had receding hairline at, yeah. at four. He was losing his hair at six. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, um, but hey, Lance Stevenson, LeBron, man, look, I'm, you know, we know the Golden State is going to be Golden State. What we are not prepared for and don't know is who's going to be our surprise teams. We know the Rockets should be top three in the West. Now, does LeBron make the Lakers top three in the West? Uh, we don't know. Time will no, tell. But I'll tell you right now, no. So who is who? So you got you got. So okay, so we got uh, go to state Rockets. Who's three? Number three in the West. Let's see. Um. No. Utah could get there. Utah nah, could get there. No, man, you can't give Utah three. I you, love. You can't I, give the Lakers just because they got LeBron. Man, man. they might. Nah. Uh, I, I, they got to get through. Lance Stevens go OKC blow. there too. Oh yeah, OKC. OKC but, with but, Paul George. But, but see, but just now, OKC with Paul George and Melo didn't even get to three last year. That's true. 
So you really can't give him three this year. I mean, maybe they didn't Mello, upgrade. Maybe, maybe Melo was a problem. No, he wasn't. Know. He didn't even get enough shots. Know. If he didn't show up, I mean, yeah. you know, I don't know. I'm, I we gonna say that season, uh, the preseason kicks off when? Uh, the twenty eighth. So 28th. soon. Yeah. So so I know the two K just came out. Everybody, yep. you know, my two man. I used to be great on two K. <laughs> I was great, man. The more my career got so busy, I got sorry. My video yeah. game. So my video game is gone. You know, I, they, they I, I bought it, Madden. I ain't played Madden. Yeah. I played it for the first, like, couple weeks. I haven't even had a chance to play. But um, anyway, so is there any other NBA news we should think about? Did you see Kawhi Leonard? I did. When they asked him, and he had tell that, us something about you. They had that weird little laugh. I don't know. Like, trying to have personality. Say, so let us, you know, you know, in Toronto, let, 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 let people know about you. That boy say. Well, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, was, that was all he said, man. You know, you know, you know. He's he's one of those kind of players that shows no emotion. Yeah. So you know, that's a good and a bad thing. You it know what is. I'm saying? It's great for on the court, but off the court, you can't talk to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. But I see the Rockets and the Lakers in like the in second or third round nah, playoffs. Man. Then yeah, we got Golden State against. Either Utah or Minnesota, maybe. Man. I'm not gonna get a Spurs. You know, I love Popovich, but he, you know, Popovich is a great coach, but you ain't got no bullets. That's you true. can't fight a gunfight with it. You can't bring a knife to a gunfight. I mean, I'll be real. I think they they upgraded by getting rid of Tony Parker at this point. I do too. I they, do they, too. He he had been way. He didn't need to What's be the out the court. What's the new point guard no name? Little young cat, he fly. I forget though. his name already. But he Damn. actually dates dates one of my niece's classmates. Oh, really? Yeah, she's from Paraland, but she's out in L.A. doing her thing. Jilly. Okay. Anyway, so um, uh, okay, let's go to the let's let's switch sports. Mm-hmm. So I got a joke for you. Let's go. Knock knock. Who there? Owen. Owen who? Owen three. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know, Owen three. We're gonna start off with um. Our, our Houston, Texas, and after last game, the superintendent uh, down the street, uh, uh, Lord, I forgot what. The, what, the racist <laughs> guy? On, on, yeah. uh, on Alaska, on Al- mm-hmm. something is one of those towns. So he said that, you know, last week, what it was, um, Deshaun, that was like 20 seconds left. Mm-hmm. He almost ran out to 20 seconds on one play. And so the, the 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 superintendent, which was let go, yeah. So justice was prevailed. And the superintendent say that was the most inept uh, play he's seen, and black quarterbacks yeah. can't make good decisions. He said that's why you can't trust a that's black. That's why you quarterback. can't trust a black quarterback. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. And I hate that my black quarterback made him <laughs> look like he was smart <laughs> on that situation. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. It's like that's kind of been a rule all like your life yeah. growing up. Ever since I was a kid. I played quarterback seventh, eighth, ninth grade. Mm-hmm. When I got to the 10th grade, they put me in head back in safety. So, you know, I've never had a black quarterback at my, when, you know, growing up, you know, never. You know what I'm saying? Like we had one great black quarterback from my hometown. Well, it was a couple, but. You know, when you got to that next level, they was they really didn't want black quarterbacks yeah. really play. You know, that's a, uh, we only have how many now? They say five or six. No, we have more than that. No, I we think. don't. We no, have a we, few. No, okay, we let's don't. count them. Jameis. He's not count? starting right now, but he's one. We'll he let him he start. might start next week. Cam. After, after yeah, Fitzpatrick. After, after, after Fitzpatrick. After <laughs> three. Cam. Right, right. Are we talking starting or period? Starting. Okay. Well, yeah, not that many then. <laughs> right. Deshaun Watson. Tyrod got he pulled. Lost. He, ain't, he, he ain't got bitch. I'm glad he uh, got bitch. Our producer figure found any kind of <laughs> Cleveland color. He's from Cleveland, our producer figure. So he found some uh, high school spirit shirt that was the Cleveland brown color. <laughs> yeah. It's like the sixth annual barbecue contest. So just because it has a six, that's his Baker Mayfield. I'm happy for Baker Mayfield. I though. am. So, so. Figgy got a whole wardrobe full of Cleveland clothes that he's been embarrassed to pull out what? until just he, now. After two years, so. he gets to wear them, man. They, they haven't won. I'm, I'm happy so happy. Him. I'm happy for him, though. I'm happy for him. Baker Mayfield got a right. He came yeah. in there. So, but you're right, though. That's not that many, but. I think I think it's more of a generational thing. For example, you grow up thinking because you're black, I'm not going to play quarterback. Nine times out of ten, you may be faster. 
you know. Yeah. So you automatically like you don't you you're not trying to look more like a wide receiver or running back than that for example. But like in middle school and little I mean little league middle school, there's not really there's more now, but black quarterbacks wasn't they wasn't giving them the kind of offenses. Yeah. To to understand or read, you know, or, or to learn an offense that's going to translate to college, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, f- like few have done it. Now, you know, offense is a little different. So, it is what it is. Even though he said that, I still was rooting for my boy Deshaun Watson this week, and unfortunately, again, we lost again. So we owe yeah. three. To the, I mean, to that point about the black quarterback, I think the main thing is this too. You have to look at the fact when when you're black and athletic and in high school, the world is really open to you. You're going to be trying a lot of sports. Um, I saw Marcellus Wiley. He was on Sports Nation or whatever show he's on right now. Uh-huh. And he said a, a funny quote that I thought was kind of true. Like the NFL is kind of it's for the failed NBA players, okay. because if you could choose between the NBA in the NFL, of course, you want to play in the NBA. Right. Less right. contact, right. bigger contracts, right. everything. A lot more guaranteed money. So people are playing more than one sport if you're black and you have quarterback and ability. Right. Whereas look at Peyton and Eli Manning they all they and doing Tom is, Brady. All they're doing is playing one. The only way they were going to succeed in pro sports is if they played quarterback. You're right. Cause, 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 so that's yeah, all they Tom Brady slower than my mama. Yeah. <laughs> My mama six You see that, that thin move that Drew Brees did? Oh, man. Hey, man, hold up. <laughs> Shout out. We're going to run through it fast, so we don't take forever. Let's run through the whole NFL, what you've seen. Yeah. I was so impressed with Drew Brees now. I why? just – what you mean, why? Didn't they win the game? Yeah, I said I was so impressed. Oh, de- I thought you said yeah. depressed. No, I was so impressed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For them, the I thought Atlanta had won. Yeah. But for Drew Brees to do put up the stats he did, you know, Ryan, uh, Matt Ryan had some great stats too. Now Matt Ryan is uh, uh, he 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 was a two sporter. Mm-hmm. He was real good at baseball, but he wasn't, he wasn't gonna play nothing else. Anyway, I was I was impressed by them. I was uh, man, this Patrick Mahomes is a fool. I in a good way, you know. Uh, Kansas City is on the road. Um, what about the Patriots? Oh my God. Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Because I used to do this show with uh, Paul Gallant on Sports Radio 610. What up, Pete? And we went through this uh, last season, too. Yeah, he loved Brady. He's, he loves the okay. Patriots, but last year he was like, oh, it's over. The defense looks so bad. They they can't do anything right. I've never oh. seen them look like this. They're, they're uh-huh. not going to make the playoffs. They went to the Super Bowl. Right, that's true. So, so you, until you, I see them completely fall possibly. out for an entire season, I don't believe they're done. I don't believe they're done. They, they but always they look, start off they slow. Yeah, but – that they needed Josh Gordon. Yeah. After looking at then they finna get Amadola back. So they're gonna play a lot better. Uh let's let's ask who who else impressed you. Hold up. How can I not talk about you? You out there in Cowboy <laughs> Land. You know, I had a Cowboy fan almost want to beat me up through my Instagram today. Because oh, I posted a post of a, a car, you know, a Cowboys fan and, and they go crazy. You know, y'all ain't never won nothing, y'all. Ain't. But the Cowboys really don't have any offense. You know, they should have been the one getting Josh Gordon, mm-hmm. you know. And I know, I know uh, Dez is, you know, but Dez is probably somewhere like, like, mm-hmm. yeah, now blaming me. These boys are tripping. You yeah. know, they made, they made uh, a, a, a winless Seattle team look like a, the Super Bowl contenders again. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, the Cowboys look bad. If the Texans lose to this Cowboys team, Oh, uh, Bill O'Brien got, you but, gotta they, they gave Bill, but, but man. Bill O'Brien, man, they gave Bill O'Brien five more years. Yeah. So, you know, I don't even know what to say about that. You know what I I'm mean, saying? I hope there's some kind of clause in there because I feel they like if you bought them out with this team. But they got the money. They're going to have to just pay him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. Because, see, you know why he got to pay him? He let the prisoner run the side. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's, see what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you should have. He wanted you, full control. You want? You should have let. You should have let the the the. the what it is? The patients was the inmates run the, the asylum. inmates run the no the the prisoners the inmates run the prison. I think he said or something. He didn't like say that. He said it inmates, run, inmates the run the prison. Yeah. Oh, you might well say slaves run the prison. Yeah, that's why everybody got well, mad. You should have let the inmates <laughs> run the prison because the inmates you know speak. You know what I'm saying? So is there anything else in the NFL you want to say? Speak? Uh, Pat I, Mahomes still balling. Oh, out of control. Uh, she uh, Rams still dominating. Oh man, they I thought they were just gonna be good on paper. Yeah, but they good for they real. They looking real good. You I, believe in the Dolphins three and zero? 
No, I, I think they'll come do. back to Earth. The only thing I like about Earth. the Dolphins is the Ballers show. Yeah. TV show. I love that show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, I think that's what really... Hold up. What about this shocking win? What's up? How did Buffalo... Oh, that was crazy. Like that? I didn't see that game. I was watching the Texas game at the time, but I don't know how they came back. Maybe Vontae Davis was a problem. Man, People was joking like he was we, never, come we didn't back. even get to talk about Vontae last week. Yeah. Vontae <laughs> retired at halftime yes. last week. That has never been done in the NFL. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In any sport that I could in remember. In any sport, huh? you know, hey, you know, hey, that's crazy. But that was a lot of talk about that. But maybe, you know, I don't, I don't, maybe he thought he was doing what was best for the team. And people won't think that. Now you got to look. Nah, man. I'm going to tell you who, who should have retired in halftime like that one time. Kevin Holmes, what's his name? Holmes, Kevin, what's his name? I, I would call him back number thirty. Kevin Johnson. Last week, yeah, he should have just went. In, he should have went. <laughs> he should have. But but you know, uh, I don't know. But anyway, any other NFL news you want to say? I think that's about it, man. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, how do you feel the Texans will do? Like, do you have any this hope year? in this season? Do you think the playoffs oh. are done? No, not at all. But really? I'm because we're in a weak division. Okay, you know Jacksonville already lost. Yeah, that's a good thing. Tennessee, uh, you know, there, you know, um, what what was uh, the Colts one and two or two and one? I believe they won one game. See, okay. nobody yeah. in our division. I'm the only person in our division. We it was two games, so we're two. We're two and a half games or three games behind. That ain't nothing. We got a long season. You know what I'm saying? I think subconsciously, Deshaun is. You know, it, people can say what they want to say. When you have a certain kind of injury, or for example, it's just like if you're cooking and you burn your hand real bad. Every time you go back to cook, you're gonna be like a little. You know, yeah. hit like oh, I mean, yeah. I was burn my hand right there. That's what I think it is with his scrambling, but he's not getting no protection. So, uh, I think he has to do what Patrick is doing. You can't sit there and want to be that pocket QB at this point right yeah. now. Go on, drop the Kahuna's and move around. And you know what I'm saying? You think and it's so, time for a coaching change? It's been I've been one of the one. Okay. You know, I'm different. You know, man, I don't know what other people. I've been one of the one like that. Uh, to me, the great coaches, not only because you always have a staff, so you got a staff full of X and O's, but the best coaches are, are to me and what I've seen, is, whether it's in, NBA or NFL, I don't know about base, baseball coaches, it's coaching, per, it's coaching personalities, coaching knowing how to deal with men in certain kind of ways to get the best about them. You know what I'm saying? He always has the mm, straight business face. You know, I guess that's from being around Belichick. You know, but I don't know. You know, I, I think it is time. Uh, either a new offensive coordinator. But he called yeah. the plays. Yeah, that's a problem. You know what I'm People saying? People are saying, like, that might be the fix. If he's not calling the plays, maybe that'll yeah, help. for real, but man. we'll have to see. Your quarterback, is, your quarterback is coming off ACL injury. First play of the season, he's running read option. Yeah. Get him out of that, man. Get him out. You can't. You, there's no protection, so he, you can't sit there without his play action that you normally run. Yeah. Now, when we were talking about the owner and the inmates running the um, prison, prison. I got a prison story. I just seen. Okay. Eighteen million dollars worth of cocaine was found in uh, some bananas. Oh, I saw that. You saw that? Yeah. How do you ship that to the prison? Have you seen that show Narcos? <laughs> oh, Narcos? I love Narcos. So I, <laughs> Pablo you know, Escobar. Maybe, you know, I don't even know. Wanna, I don't even want to say where it was going. Maybe it's going to go for the prison street. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But that's a lot of money. Anyway, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So um, I think that's all my NFL news. Yeah. Um, um, so college. You want to have you watching? Was there some? Have I'm, you watching the college football? I've watched a little bit. I, I'm a U of H alumni, and yeah. oh, they, man, they kind of oh shaky God. right now. They had a bad yeah. loss against Tech, yeah, but, but they let, came back against TSU. So, man, let me speaking of that. Our our um, other platform affiliated with the U of H Rocket, so just mm-hmm. fanatics view. You know, yeah. they was like, "Hey, man, why don't you guys go to the do the U of H game?" I would have went, but something told me, "Don't you go do the." U of H TSU game. Why's that? Man, they put Sam there. Man, that was going to be. I can't sit there and just watch my brothers get the hell beat out. You, every, it, Are you a TSU fan? No, but it's still, it's almost like a. That was like a. a, a, a oh, it was that a was dis- like racism. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> that was like racism. That's like watching. That's like, you know how you, in, in the Sweet Six, March Madness every year, mm-hmm. you know, I, man, I'm a, I'm a sports guy. 
and you sitting there, and it's like, oh, Lord, TSU has to play Duke in the first yeah. round of North Carolina. Yeah. That's how I looked the other day. But, you know, it was bad. big up to him. So it, maybe it would be better when, you know, TSU play Prairie View or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, um, what else What else we got in sports, man? Hey, speaking of football, though. What's up? College football. You see about the player in Maryland? How they, was it Maryland? When the guy died, um, I saw a little bit of that. Um, what's his name? I know his name. I yeah, his name. that was a sad situation, man. That that kind of thing happens every year, sadly. But uh, yeah, it was kind of. But what's like, crazy to me is that they find they make they find the coaches and everybody. I mean, you kind of have to do that because apparently he needed cold immersion therapy or something. Right, John um, McNair. I knew the last name. Yeah, yeah. John McNair. Um, so. I, but just, just you know, you know, I, I get, I know, I'm pretty sure his family may sue the yeah, university. That's the thing. But this is what I'm saying, like in 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 football right now, especially with the youth and everybody playing, you have to, you need staff need to be trained to recognize and pick up on. Yeah. You know, if it looked like you're having a heat stroke, you know what I'm saying. That's, to I do mean, something. Well, here's the thing. It's hard to differentiate if a player's just being soft and whiny or if they actually need help sometimes. Because they didn't do that in the old yeah. days. And sometimes you do know, like, oh, this player has had a history of always kind of slowing down and whining. So you can't so tell. So you can't always assume that a player's about to die. I know. That's why, though, I, that's why I was like, you know, it was shocking to me. But you should. And, and it sucks that people find out they have these problems yeah. or it, it goes yeah. on that bad. People push themselves so hard. Yeah. But um, I want to ask you something about that, too, since we're kind of on that topic. Uh, the uh, roughing the passer calls oh, man. have been real controversial in the NFL yeah, right man. now. We've seen them in a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, Clay man. Matthews got flagged oh, all they, three games. Yeah, man, they they got a bounty anyone. out on him, I think. Yeah, they do. Because they every time he get a sack, he get called for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, he thinks the game has gotten soft. A lot of people seem to agree. Yeah. What What do you think about this rule and how they're well? For one, William it? Haynes, Haynes played for the Dolphins. He tore his ACL. Yeah. Trying to let up off the quarterback because you know in those split second decisions it always been like that even when they tried to enforce the rule more even on the safeties and the cornerback man when you're going to hit somebody and you grew up playing football there's no way that at that bit once soon as you put you got to try to think you know what yeah. i'm saying i think man they, they just need to let them play football man you know what i'm saying you're not you know when uh they trigger happy they just yeah. trigger happy with the whistle. You know if it's like if J.J. Watt picks up Dak Prescott, mm-hmm. boom, dumps in power drive hard, you know that's, okay, that's rough in the past. Now, if Clay hits the quarterback and just falls on him, come on, man. That is not rough in the past. Yeah. You cannot Tom Brady over 40. Let Tom Brady be mm-hmm. old. You can't protect everybody. You know what I'm saying? We understand that's what having good backups for fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We know a certain quarterback they're going to call it, like Jordan, the Jordan rule. So, you know, there's going to be an Aaron Rodgers rule, but he still gets hurt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, they don't care. Po- Jimmy Garoppolo, po- by the way, didn't yeah, talk he about just that. Told He's his out ACL. this season. Yeah. They, they, was, they was almost about to murder po, uh, Andrew Luck. Yeah. He got hit. So, no. What about with Vish Young? Was playing. I yeah. mean, it was hitting bitch y'all, picking them up, dumping it. They ain't never caught none of that. Yeah. You know Cam what I'm saying? So, I, it, you know, they talk about, you know, people, you know, mad and not watching. You know, that's the type of stuff that makes people mad because you yeah. mess up the flow and, uh, and an importance of a game. Mm-hmm. Say, for you know, like against Chicago, Green Bay wound up winning that game. Yeah. But that call against Clay could have made them lose that game. Yeah. And I've seen now when it, when the, if a player just make a mistake, bah, bump, mm-hmm. it's Kyle. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. Yeah, it is. I mean, I feel like the NFL is just trying to protect, protect their investment, basically. Um, the quarterback is a very, very, very important position right now. Um, right. It's the cornerstone of your offense. And if mm-hmm. you don't have a good quarterback, you generally ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Let your def- defense is elite. Yeah, and that's usually real. not the case with a lot of teams. Um, for example, I think the 49ers have like six more primetime games coming up. 
Yeah, ain't they, nobody uh, gonna watch him now that Jimmy Garoppolo no out. Not at all. Same he, thing he with saying, Green yeah. Bay last year. You're right. Nobody, so you feel you feel the I feel the so you you kind of agree with the protection. I agree I don't, with the protecting. I I, I see but some the, reps just I understand the intent behind it. I'll yeah, say that much. Look, I did on my mediation this morning. That's what they told me. They say, look around the room, um, at everything a certain color. So pick out everything in the room that's black, for example, and mm-hmm. close your eyes. You say, Nah, open your eyes. Name everything that was read. You know, it's like, damn. So, you know, I didn't think, I can remember, like, because I didn't think read. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? What's happening, they instead of having these meetings, <laughs> protect the quarterback, protect the quarterback. So the refs are going out there subconsciously. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, roughing the pass. Yeah, roughing the pass. So that's I kind of think what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, it is what it is. I want my quarterbacks there. Yeah. You know, I don't want to like watching the Texans Wiley. without Deshaun Watson is tough. Oh no, nah, man. man. That was man. that was a nightmare. You, what? Yeah, man. You Tom might well, you Savage, might want well to go to the tailgate and go home. Brandon Whedon. Yeah, man. You might want well to go to the tailgate and go home. <laughs> Speaking of quarterbacks, you know, my my favorite quarterback, you know, of course, is Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. But I I have to I need his phone number. Why is that? Uh, he wore a silk robe to the. To I mean, he all he been. I mean, we still yeah, on yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm letting him make it. Anyway, I didn't get to talk about this last week. R.P. Mac Miller, man. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. a great artist, young artist. One of my son's favorite artists. Uh, my son, you know, his list of artists, his dad is not wasn't in his top three. That's usually because how it goes. he didn't know. That's how I go. Yeah. So it was Eminem. Oh, and no. after Eminem, he been, when Eminem got a little in quieter, he was a Speaker Knockers fan, mm-hmm. R.P. Speaker Knockers. And now, for the last, like, five, six years, he used to always be jamming Mac Miller. Yeah. He know all Mac Miller songs. Mm-hmm. So for to see Mac Miller, you know, R.P. to him, man, we didn't get to uh, show him no love yeah. last time. Yeah, His last album was really good, too. I yeah. recommend it. I was late getting on it, uh-huh. but it was really good, man. Uh, the, the girl we do the the, pod, the the Gems and Juice podcast with, uh-huh. she's she a big turned, fan. She turned yeah. us on to that. Uh-huh. So um, shout out to Jasmine, by the way. Yeah, Mac Miller, that one hurt, man. Yeah, that because, was I, I was sad. Yeah, he put I knew a my lot of people son on the was going to be sad. Yeah. You know, and my son told me, he posted your album before. I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? I didn't yeah. even know that, you know. He was um, a good dude. He yeah. put a lot of people on in the game. He seemed like a selfless type of cat who was trying to help out others uh-huh. all the time. And a whole industry came out and showed support for him right. when that happened. So, yeah. so it's tough, but. Like they say, man, get your flowers while you're living. Yeah, definitely. It's not when you're dead. So you have a friend or close relative. <laughs> And you see that they haven't, you know, any kind of substance abuse problems, which they said was uh, speak up, you know. I mean, they, you know. we had to talk about this, though. I know you saw the clip of him pouring up a, uh-uh. you know what he was pouring up uh-uh. in a double cup. No, I ain't you didn't see that clip? Uh-uh. Yeah, he was sipping. He was with uh, French Montana uh-huh. in this clip in the studio. Uh-huh. And he was pouring up like he was pouring. You see him shaking it uh-huh. in, a, in a two liter of Sprite, what? pouring it up. Yeah, man. That's and crazy. Uh, I mean, so was this recent? This was a maybe a year or two ago. I oh, think okay. it was a Vice little documentary yeah. or something. Oh yeah, they, they but, y'all always yeah, do that. Yeah. You know, y'all start well, that. I'm just TMZ, <laughs> which is the the, the Bible, yeah. you know, in uh, entertainment, they say they found uh, you know they still got to do the autopsy, but yeah. they found a white pottery substance. I mean, that, the whole and thing is kind of shady. The, his friends cleaned out his apartment. Yeah, so you don't know what. Apparently, drug he was there on. was people there like when he passed. Yeah, that's there was crazy. some kind of party going on. So it's it's, it's sad, yeah. man. You don't know what drug you on. Since we're talking hip hop, um, um, now last time we talked, there was a Cardi B and the Nicki Minaj uh, yeah. fight, right? Mm-hmm. Man, did you see Cardi B ex roommate come out over the weekend? Was she the one talking about what happened that night? The one who was talking about how um, uh, one of Cardi B's friends, one of Nicki yeah. Minaj's friends who was a sister of the girl who cheated with Offset, like blew her kiss. Was this it or was no, something else? I didn't, no, this is another one. This chick named Star, she used to be a dancer, right? Okay. Her Cardi B with roommates. So she's coming out talking about Cardi B. Um you know, she has cocaine problem, Molly oh, problem. Damn. They live together. She has herpes. Damn. She's telling all her business. So she took her to the strip club, got her on. So she say, I'm going to tell this story real fast. You know, I, you know, she has so, she's used so many people that, that hang with Carter on pictures have verified that they were real cool. Mm-hmm. So Carter says, you know, we stayed in the same building. So, but the chick contends that they stayed in the same crib together. She mm-hmm. wound up being roommates. The chick said she was on probation. 
in Atlanta. And in New York at the time, in Atlanta, you couldn't get your license to dance by being on probation. Mm-hmm. And in New York at the time, you could. You could tell she was a money-making stripper because yeah. she looked like it. So she say she eventually, one of her friends introduced them. And so she brought her to the spot. They started working together. Da, 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 da. And it was a guy who wanted to give Cardi, you know, Cardi was into prostitution, wanted mm-hmm. to give Cardi $1,000. So the guy said, no, it smells like fish. I don't want it. So Cardi tried to convince her, like, will you take the money? She was like, no, nah, I ain't going to do it. So, yeah, they get in a fight. She throws coffee on Cardi. Her friend punches. Damn. I mean, Cardi Wait. throws coffee on her. Cardi's friend punching her eye. So when she saw the Nicki Minaj story, mm-hmm. she told about her story. Oh, man, they attacking her. I mean, they attack. They, she's getting death threats and about what Cardi is or the other no, girl. No, the other girl. Oh, you know, like so I mean, she like she's not worried about it, but like she's telling everything, all kind of stuff. So, but I'm gonna tell you what Nicki Minaj is finna do: mm-hmm. take all those stories and put them in a song, and that's how she gonna win the battle. I don't think they have a rap battle right now. Number one, you can't really get this. Is not like Remy Ma. Right, Remy Ma right. is a lyricist. Mm, you're right. So Nicki Minaj is a lyricist. I don't think so, no. Because <laughs> Cardi B you ain't gotta, that type of rapper, you, really. No, but you got to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta say David Day. Yes. <laughs> Help me write a verse. <laughs> he ain't going to be able to win that. He ain't going to be able to win that. But offset, still, I don't think Offset got enough lines. No, nah, me either. But you got to think. But that's what great artists do, bro. Yeah. She's going to take the herpes, the fish story. She's gonna take every one of those stories and put it in in, in the song. She might. She I finna, think she finna throw so many subliminal shots now. I don't think Nikki gonna fire the first shot though. I think if this kicks off, it's gonna have to be Cardi B putting out a record. I got you. And then I Nicki Minaj is gonna let the whole thing go. You so you you saw Drake with his with he shot his slug at Kanye in the new French Montana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, no three fifties around me. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that? We never got to talk about that. But uh, Kanye, at first, he apologized on Twitter and yeah, said, you know, hey, I, I had nothing to do with the Pusha T disc record. I didn't know he was going to mention that. I didn't tell him about uh-huh. your baby and your baby mama. But then he came back a few weeks later. Uh-huh. I guess he's back in Chicago now doing yes. a rebrand. And why you say she ain't going? Yeah. Well, of course not. She in L.A. She ain't going to some damn Chicago. <laughs> but uh, he came out, and he was on FaceTime or Instagram or something. Yeah. He basically said that. Uh, Drake was wrong for not addressing the rumor that he sma- Drake had smashed yeah. Kim K. Yeah, so he said if, for example, if somebody was dating Rihanna, he wouldn't make a song, yeah. re Do You Love Me? So apparently, uh, and they're in the circles, and everybody close to them, they call Kim, nicknamed as Kiki. Yeah, she admitted so, that. So uh, he not only mad got mad at Drake for that, but he told Drake, like, you know, one line Drake say, a bunch of cottage and Kendall's. Mm-hmm. He was like, man, Travis Scott's your boy. Don't yeah. say that. Which shout out Travis Scott. Um, and then he, of course, he unleashed a little his 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 anger toward Nick Cannon. Yeah. You know, I, I love Nick Cannon's response. You know what I'm saying? Nick was being a little petty, mm-hmm. but it's almost like that's a trophy in the entertainment world. Look at Bobby Brown, no, 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 Janet Jackson movie. Yeah. Like a person who's scary, scary wouldn't have showed Bobby hitting Janet. Yeah, they would have been like, I don't want to two Janet that. So maybe you know, if somebody asked me, like, man, you hit Kim Kardashian, I'd be like, what? <laughs> I'd be wearing a shirt. I'd be like, I hit Kim, you hit Ray J. So the reason I think Kanye don't want to go, I mean, she don't want to go to LA because you got to think, bro. I don't care what nobody say. We always talk about this. If your significant other was a porn star or something mm-hmm. like that, you got to sit here every few months and just something might come on TMZ or the, in the tabloid and they say, it was said that Kim K slept with you. So he's like, hold up. You told me, Ray J. You told me, did you? He <laughs> tell me, Nick Kelly. He tell me, Bow Wow. He tell me, Bow Wow. Like, Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Yeah. Like, he's Bow Wow. Bow Wow. And he makes sure <laughs> Bow Wow got him some little trophies. But it's like, that really causes friction in the relationship, bro. But here's the thing. He knew that coming in. No. He did. I mean, you knew he, the few. No. He you knew. didn't know everybody. He, first off, you got to realize. You never know everybody. Because the woman ain't going to tell everybody. Here's the thing, man. I think Kanye West is a dirty ass dude. He was dating Amber Rose, a stripper. 
You know that's how true. messy, and this is before Look, she got I, famous. I, 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 you know, she I, 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 did a lot of strange I, I, for some change. Pray for Drake. He, he just got, well, at least he just sued other stripper. Yeah. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Another girl said he got her pregnant <laughs> or something. See, he's scared now. He's moving real <laughs> careful. He double rapping it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So so Kanye was. I think Kanye. They, you, know, you gotta look at Kanye. In school, he couldn't get no Amber Rose. Yeah. He had that song. He had that sway. He couldn't get no Amber Rose. So the fame and the money make him like, ah, That's yeah, the thing. Know. I don't think he cares about body count, though. Because if he did, he wouldn't have been dating a stripper. He wouldn't have done all this they stuff. He wouldn't have that. done with. He, may act he like was that. messing with Kim Kardashian when she was married to Chris Humphreys. But Chris, Chris so to me, you, you taking Chris, her out and sending her back home to get, you know, he's a dirty you're dude. Right, you're right. But I, like, I, to, I guess people are different. I know. I guess people are different. I'm just but saying. he can't. But but Nick Cannon say, man, look, I don't care. You know, I respect you, whatever. But you can't tell me what to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And speaking of celebrities, did you see yes. this? from from we on Wilding Out? So they roasted the White Howard, and, and the White Howard he tweets and tells Shaq, uh, yeah, man, you do a roast this, and I got ten for you, yeah. Shaq. Say, like, you're not even in my category. Like I don't, I rank with champions. You know, you in that Barkley like League. I don't like that. You, you, so Shaq was petty? I think he was being petty because uh, Shaq seemed like a very sensitive dude. Uh -huh. At least Dwight Howard's like willing to make fun of himself. Right. Shaq, would, Shaq would never go on Wild and Out and let him just clown him. You don't think so? I don't think so. Like he would go on, but he wouldn't he let them go to. Too, I well, he did saying. do that. He did have that comedy special where they did I joke mean, a on him. A lot of people do that. So, yeah. Though. But I think, think he, was petty? he seemed kind of sensitive when I see him on Inside the NBA and Kenny and Charles get to cracking on him. And he always bring up the rings. I'm right. a champion, Charles. You can't I talk to me about I feel, basketball. I feel, I feel you with like, that. Like, dog, you had Kobe and Phil Jackson. Right, right. Okay? I feel you with it that. It wasn't did, just and, you out there. And Dwayne Wade was the MVP. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, for him to wave his rings in everybody's face, only a few people can win in, in the NBA at a time. You're right. Jor d during the 90s, nobody else really won but Jordan and Hakeem and the Rockets. You're right. You're right. So I feel what you mean. I, feel I just feel that. like it's petty to bring I, up I, the I rings to say you're LeBron better than everybody. Say that. I don't think Jordan would say that. See, Jordan is dirty. Yeah. Gangster. Because he's competitive. You know, sh now see, Shaq started that with Kobe first. Yeah. Even though, you know, Kobe probably did some things, but I'm a Kobe he fan. So yeah, like, but but on Shaq him, but. still was the first one with the ring That's talk true. with Kobe. And that's, Kobe admitted that when he finally got more than Shaq, that was his main motivation. Yeah, like he yeah. finally got one more than Shaq. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I thought yeah. Shaq was a little petty there, So if man. they have a fight, who do you think will win the fight? Dwight Howard and Shaq. Dwight Shape. Howard in shape. I heard, well, Shaq was here. Figgy met him, and he said Shaq still looked buff and brolic. Right. But I think, I mean, Dwight Howard's still playing in the NBA. I don't know. None of them can fight. But Shaq's a old man. Charles Oakley don't play in the NBA. And he'll whoop some. He'll, he'll, <laughs> he'll go whoop some birds. You know You're talking about two seven footers against yeah. each other, though. So maybe we so. need to, maybe, you know what? Maybe I need to be a promoter. As the more money I get, <laughs> I put celebrities in matches. Okay. You feel me? I, I heard the Cholo brothers want to fight Mayweather, one of the Cholo brothers. You, you heard that? Why? Cholo. What you mean why? Because <laughs> they don't want Mayweather to get away and go to fight Pacquiao without fight, fighting him first. Man, he only Mayweather ain't got to fight no more. He's only doing the big money gonna, fights. Yeah. He's I, only doing. Yeah. He's gonna fight Pacquiao one more time and then Conor McGregor one more time and yeah, call him. Uh, you think he's scared to fight each other? I don't think he wants to fight anybody he ain't getting a hundred million plus for. Yeah, because he's and ain't the nobody promoter. gonna exactly. So yeah. unless it's a big name, he ain't getting out of bed for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but since we're talking about beef and battle and all that, uh, Cat Williams did issue a oh, challenge man, to uh, to Kevin Hart. Now, this all started about a week ago. Mm -hmm. um, Cat Williams was on a radio show, and he started airing out all these other comedians and how they ain't yeah, as big as him. Yeah, he was, he was kind of hating there. Yeah, he was hating. Kevin Hart goes, because he has a movie coming out with Tiffany Haddish, uh -huh. and Cat Williams also mentioned Tiffany Haddish and how she, That's you know, who he really started yeah, hating on first. He really did. He yeah. really went kind of far with her, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. But, and he got a gun put on him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a different situation mm -hmm. with the other girl he dissed at the radio station. But um, Kevin Hart goes on Breakfast Club, and he takes up for Tiffany, and he basically yeah, says, he, really took up, yeah. took he was like, I'm the biggest comedian in the world right now. You're not doing these numbers. You're lying. You ruined your chance because you was a drug addict and you did all this stuff. So stop <laughs> hating on the black people because he's trying to put people on. And right. who has Cat Williams put on? Yeah, and yeah. now Cat Williams dressed in the fur coat 
in the summertime for some reason. Yeah. He's no. talking <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about how he wants to do any kind of battle. He'll do a comedy battle, he'll do a fight, he'll do a basketball game. We know all this stuff with going, Kevin Hart going, for a, for going, a million each game. Keep going, Ryan. We know one thing he can't win it. That's the fight. You let a 13-year-old beat you up. So don't even, if 13-year-old beat you up, you should not want to fight. Now, <laughs> if you ask me, Cat was, see, my ranking, I can rank with anybody. Okay. But I respect people. Now, if you comedians, your ranking is different. Like, the radio host, see, it's certain things you don't play with people about on air. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, and, and, and like, yeah, I was talking about hair. It could have stayed at hair. But when you go to ranking on a woman about her weight and doing it in a disrespectful manner, you really stepping out of the normal. But, you know, some people say she she want to be a comedian, so don't play, don't yeah. play. It's kind of, you know, I understand that. But you just, like, a lot of things Kevin Hart said sounded so true. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, like he say, I don't care about who says the jokes. I care about who writes the jokes. Which I'm, I'm, I'm going into the comedy world, but I'm coming from the rap. So yeah. I'm going to always be the type of person that writes their stuff and exactly. won't write your own stuff. But you under, you got to understand, when you go to the, dealing with the Saturday Night Lives and all these, that's a different kind of monster. Yeah, They might not write your stuff, but they're going to tell you, hey, in Bowen, can we get, look, say this about Trump. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, Kat, when you play in certain, in, in the, the movies that you did play in, you didn't write Friday the next. Exactly. They told your ass what to say. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You might have improv and yeah, they your do own thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think what what um what Kevin Hart, man, I, I like I like what Kevin Hart said. See, this is my thing. I, I Kevin Hart kind of going the route that I'm going. Yeah. I remember without the music, but I remember him in 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 the early uh, Rockefeller movies. Yeah. I was like, man, this little retarded dude funny. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew him. But that he was really so did. long ago. Yeah. That was like 15, 20 years. Yeah, it was a long time ago. So he really put in his work. He did. For Tiffany Haddis. There's something to say when everybody, like, you got so many comedians on, on, who blow up on social media. Mm -hmm. They go viral. This is Young Fly. They went viral. They went, they blew up on social media. So you still can't hate on these people because they went a different route. Yeah. Tiffany Haddis. All the people like you that was under him, the names he named, hey, when 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 when, when uh, Kevin Hart say, well, what did you put him on something? Mm -hmm. Like a stand up is just fine, but you ain't got to be no movies in there. Yeah. Cause Hollywood's scared to give you that bag, kind of like he said, cause you uncontrollable. Your ass liable to go jump off a cliff. Yeah, you know, wear a meat coat to the, to the to, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. I'm right. I'm. I think Kevin Hart. I mean, I'm riding with Kevin Hart on that battle. Yeah. I like. I love Cat Williams. His stand up was amazing. He's funny. Yeah. But he just was being retarded at that time. Definitely. You know what I'm I mean, I say this much. I do think Cat Williams is funnier than Kevin Hart. Of course, it's stand up. Yeah. It's stand up. Now this is different. Some people funny in stand up, but in movies, character wise. Well, yeah. Because because see, uh, Kevin Hart, there's no there's no ceiling on it. Mm -hmm. He could be a goofy white dude, like a goofy square. Mm -hmm. Kevin, I mean, Kevin, we can't do that. Yeah. All he could be is a pimp, money Mike. Yeah. You get, he, he can't. So to be big in Hollywood, you have to be able to trans, translate and transcend into something different. For example, Will Smith. You take Will Smith, jazz, and you take another rapper at that, in that era, uh, you know, Master P. Will Smith would be able to do so much more than Master P. Well, of course. It's certain things. Tiffany Haddish, her look, style, size, certain little things. Mm -hmm. She's she's going to be able to do more than Mela Camacho. Yeah. Mela Camacho might be funny to stand up, but she's not going to probably be able to play that square business later. So it's yeah. all kind of other factors that I go in there that people don't pay attention to. I agree, but I also think that it was a lot of Cat Williams' own ego that got in his way because I felt like when he was coming up, he could have been as funny or as funny or a character than Kevin Hart was in his movies. He's like like yeah, Cat, people probably, love Cat Williams mm -hmm. in the Friday movies. Yeah. You, the you problem did. was, but there was no other movies that you really know it from. Cause I think here's a problem. 
he wanted a cert- set amount of money. I feel and he saying. refused to do anything right. for anything less. That makes Whereas sense. Whereas Kevin Hart, when he was coming up, he was in a bunch of bad movies. Right. I'm he was saying. in anything the they plane. would cast him in. One of his snakes on the plane? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, he might have been. I think he was. I think he was like a stewardess. I think he, I think <laughs> he was a stewardess. Like, I mean, I mean, um... I think he was a, he was something on that. I, I know think he, he was, was on that movie. He was in bro. Soul Plane, was, not Soul Snakes Plane. on a yeah. Plane. Well, that's just as worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Soul Plane is a terrible movie. Yeah, he was in like Scary Movie Four and Five. I mean, all but these the bad do movies. them kind of movies. So yeah, you, you know what I'm well, saying. but they they fell off at that point. So I mean, <laughs> I love I love Damon. I mean, not Damon. Marlon Show though. Yeah. Marlon Sitcom. It is good. It that's is good, good sitcom. Um, yeah, I'm riding with I'm riding with. I'm right, Kevin Hart. I'm yeah. right. You know, to me, Cat Williams is funny with a stand up. And Kevin Hart just, you know, can just play so many different roles. Yeah. Cat Williams Work wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to play no damn up. Uh, what's the movie with uh, The Rock? Dwayne Johnson? Jumanji. Jumanji. Man, Cat Williams couldn't play no That would actually Jumanji. be really funny to see, though. Like yeah, a little, yeah, like, little yeah, pimp switching. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 because <laughs> so, sometimes you get stuck in yeah. that character. Bow Wow could never be a gangster rapper to me, no matter how he kept, how hard he kept trying. He, I, Wait, what? Well, I, I question, just ship though. your serve. He's saying, come on, this and that. Man, I don't care what you're talking about. You still Bow Wow because you got stuck as that character. But why was Drake able to, be, able to overcome that? Because the people he hung with. So if Bow Wow Drake- didn't hang with no gangsters every day. Drake hang with the gangsters, the gangsters. That's Lil J, Lil Wayne, Baby. You round bloods and gangsters every day that's sipping and smoking. It okay. makes you look like a gangster. So it's like Tupac, basically. Just like Tupac. No, Tupac okay. was a super square. Super square. That's true. You know, who wasn't no thug in pop. Yeah. That thug life came after later. Yeah. The music changed him. Kind of like how it did Drake. You know what I'm saying? That's true. If you go look at all those, um, um, what, Degrassi. Drake, Drake, yes. baby, Drake look like a pillow. He saw him as a pillow. <laughs> then he got gang, you know, because the music and what you're around, what you are, what you do every day becomes yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you went from a thug to a school guy. I heard you was a thug. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you got, you, you got, I had you, to get you, my degrees, you, man. You, you, you had to get some degrees, man. You I had to get a square job. Like, yeah, I was a square. I wouldn't. I couldn't I, rap. I always That's been a, a thug, though. I always been a little thuggish, but I paid attention in school. Yeah. You know, I always got good grades. And that was one thing. You know, when I got to college, I lost track because I was like, I'm grown. I ain't yeah. got to go home. You know what I'm saying? My first semester, I was great, though. By the third semester, man, I was like, man, I ain't going to class. <laughs> <laughs> God forgive me. I still owe Sally May. I missed the Pell Grants, Shoot, man. You too, see all man. these home invasions they're having at these rappers lately? No. Uh, I heard uh, somebody got hit. What was Chief it? Chief Keith uh, got hit. Like, Chief Keith, Everybody right. get hit. Wiz Khalifa, man, everybody getting. So yeah. I guess breaking into rappers thing, but they are keeping money in their house. So, you know, I need to start a, a financial class for my youngsters and all the celebrities. Like I heard 21 Savage actually did something like that. Like he set up some kind of financial thing for some high school kids. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, man. You need one for thing. rappers, though. Yeah, you need one for rappers. You, 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 you can't keep two, three hundred thousand out of the end of the house. Yeah. Somebody don't drug dealer mentality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's you're right. It's a thug, drug dealer mentality. Yeah. Yeah, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else we got going on? I want to talk about. Um, oh yeah, since we on a mu- uh, music subject, real quick, and you from Louisiana, you mentioned Lil Wayne. Wow, Woo there. Today, Lil Wayne announced that his album will come out uh-huh. on his birthday. His birthday is Saturday, the 29th, I Oh, believe. September twenty. This, yes. What this, that's this said? Yes. So, so we got to get the car to fire this ad. Yes. Man, I ain't going to lie, man. The car to fire, they've been waiting for that so long. This has to be the gr- – yeah, I hope it's – sometimes stuff can be so overhyped. But Luane, you know, he don't let people down. I seen the track list of the album, though. He got some good features I th- I on mean, it. I mean, I think that might have been fake. There's been a few track lists coming oh, around. A few? Yeah, this one they've been too fake. Real. Yeah, this one looked real, but I, I hope. Know. I hope you so. Know. I mean, yeah. I hope it's not because that one had like some five-year-old songs on it. Oh, I, I didn't see no. Nah, yeah. I, I didn't see the names. I, I mean, but, I seen the names of the song, but I hadn't heard them before. You know, I, I didn't recognize them when I seen them. Yeah. Was it a red and black cover you saw? Yeah, yeah. They had two chains on it. Yeah. Drake on it. I think Reginate. that one had that one has some old ass. Had songs his daughter on it. Reginate. Yeah. Man, you know, bootleggers are so serious nowadays. Yep. I go to the corner store the other day. I go get coffee every morning. I walk. I walk in there. I say, "Why well, go to the one across the street and get Texas Pecan? That's coffee I like." Mm-hmm. They was out. So I say, why now I seen that the store 
Next, next door. I go in there, man. They got. First, I'm talking about they got every CD you could think of in a different kind of way. It's like Slim Thug, but with all his songs on it. Yep. Zero, all his mm-hmm. songs on it. I'm like, man, let me make sure y'all got no ears in it. <laughs> so, but as I'm looking and looking at it, I look in the count in the case, man, there's Louis Vuitton, Bells, Hermes, of course. Bell, in the Kona Gas Station. Yeah. So I'm like, these bootleggers are crazy. I've seen man. that, man. But that was a deal back in the day, too. I know, but we that's couldn't good. We couldn't buy no screw tapes and no Swisher House tapes unless we went to the screw shop. Right, right. So if you didn't live through there, like, you might yeah. have to go to a, a somebody's trunk. Uh-huh. And get the bootlegs. Did, just speaking of Drake, did you find out why he called in sick on the tour? I didn't see the reason for it. Me either. I just heard he got real sick and he canceled some Miami tour dates. Yeah. I know he's going to be here in Houston um, next week, I believe. Uh-huh. So uh, I don't think yeah. that's been canceled yet. Yeah, but you I, come he, to H-Town, Drake, call me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> come out and wreck something on the stage with your man. You, you know, should you be out there, man. You know, bring your box of condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop getting them baby things, man. Speaking of babies, man, uh, this is crazy to me. Certain topics that just be fun to me is like topics that I never would even talking about. Mm-hmm. Till I got with you, you turned me vanilla. Okay. So, so anyway, there's a big debate about babies. I mean, having changing tables in the men's restroom. I haven't heard about this. You ever heard about that? Yeah, my man's keep me up on all kind of stuff. Okay. So anyway, it's like, why is that a debate? I mean, honestly, I have no I idea, man. I mean, I don't, I don't want no. I'm a dude, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It seems like why you just go change the baby in the car. I'm not gonna change my little girl in the bathroom with men. That's just me. I wouldn't want to do that. I guess some people are different. It's like you standing there on the baby, change the diaper. And, 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 Four five dudes coming there taking a lead. How are you doing? <laughs> I mean, it's a baby, man. That's like I still, I don't know. I'm sacred. I, you know, I mean, that's just how I am. Look, my son, let me, but he gonna be mad. He has, he's never heard of a ball. So the other day he said, I was like, man, something with my butt hurt. So I said, man, well, you may have a ball. So his mama say, let me look at it, man. That boy almost took off running. He's like, no, yeah. no, no, I want to see it. That's how I was, you know, but my uh, mama, my mama was so ghetto and gangster. She used to walk around the house naked. I used yeah. to be mad as hell. I used to be like, damn, mom, man, I'm 12. <laughs> no, I'm 13. I don't want to see your stomach. No, I, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. I guess maybe 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 my manager was thinking about. I don't know, man. I mean, I have nothing against it. I figure if a man has to go inside a a restroom and change his baby diaper, that there's an emergency going on. It should be some, fine. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I guess they argue over the thing. I don't know. I don't that's know. just that's I mean, just some. I don't know. They argue about some of the dumbest stuff. Speaking of. <sighs> this let, let me get this in before we get out of here. This just came through the wire. Um, Bill Cosby. Oh yeah, how will we not touch on this yet? Yeah, because you say the say That's the, true, con- the I didn't want to give you no controversy. Yeah, before, before you get I didn't want to be. I didn't want to Willie D you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to Willie D you. So, yeah. man, he got to do three to ten years. Lawyers filed for the appeal. They but they would deny bail, put him in handcuffs, and phew, took him straight to jail. State pen. Yeah, and they say it now. His lawyer is saying that the woman took the pills willingly. Well, of course she did. That Quaaludes. Like, yeah. I don't... Here's the thing. I know how you feel feel about it. I do feel like there is a strong possibility that Bill Cosby took advantage of some women. Right, right. It might I have not been too. jumping out the bushes and attacking them, mm-hmm. but it definitely was more like he he promised things and then he ended up just wanting so they well, got owe me twenty dollars. I'm just saying. I'm just I saying. Mean, Donald Trump said, "Grab my book." Look, that's you know, look, you know look, it's double look. standard. Yeah, Bill O'Reilly never been arrested. Matt Lyle never been arrested. There's so many names. You know what I'm saying? So this really like this. This was so crazy to me in the black community. Before, before we got a fire alarm going off right now. We got to make sure it's nothing serious. Really, before we Figgy. get stuck up here, we're yeah, gonna yeah, go yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. This is our last topic. Anyway, so, no, we got one more. One no, we more. got one more. Yeah. But um, in the black community, they was Bill Cosby was getting ridiculed for. Oh, for oh damn! Uh oh, who in here? What happened? Okay, well, alarm is going off in the building. We're on our way out, Joe. Yes, that's it. <laughs> the show was that hot.
We gotta leave right now. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we had a little, a little slight emergency. It wasn't really an emergency, some kind of fire drill. We had to evacuate. Uh, so ESG dip. So, um, this is going to be the outro for the podcast. Uh, shout out to fanatics view. Shout out to ESG world. Shout out to our producer figgy. Also catch us on the gems and juice podcast on iTunes and all those platforms. And that's it for the ESG and rocket show. ESG, Ryan rocket. We out.